Nail Clipping and Chin Rests Part 1 I was asked how chin rests would work with nail clipping and if I could do a video. My dogs normally use scratch boards and nail clipping in an emergency such as a torn nail. However this is still a really good behavior to teach so as always I start at the basics. Diesel is very paw sensitive since being attacked by a dog as both of his paws were damaged in the attack. So Diesel shows true behavior of what a lot of dogs will do and be uncomfortable with their paws being handled. I am clicking and rewarding for giving his paw and allowing me to hold it for seconds. I don't want to overwhelm him or break his trust. He is free to leave and also take back his paw at any point. Nail Clipping and Chin Rests Part 2 Whenever I do anything novel with the dog's eye, introduce the item first in this case the nail clippers. Always working fear free and giving them choice and opportunity to move away or end the session. It's up to them. She already knows what is coming so she jumps to offering me her paw for the click and treat. So of course, she has me well trained and I reinforce the behavior. Next I move on to cueing the paw and moving the clippers around her paw but not touching her. This is to desensitize her to the clippers presence. Chin Rests and Nail Clipping Ooh, Part 3 good. Now we ditch the clippers and go back to just cueing the poor behavior and add in a tiny little extra duration. This helps with being able to hold the paw and them, understanding that this means that they will have to keep the paw still for a little duration without holding the paw making them scared. Behaviors should always be taught in small approximations to set them up to succeed. If I was to try and build duration and use the clippers this could poison the behavior and put us further back from where we started from. This makes it a fun game instead and not predictable. Dogs learn a lot faster and happier through concept training as opposed to traditional training. Chin rests and nail clipping part 4. Good boy, very good. Now we go back to curing paw and putting the clippers near to the paw. Zombie is allowed to offer me whatever paw he likes as I want him to. Be comfortable and collaborative care training is about their choices. There is no quick fix to changing the emotional state of a dog. So these first four parts will have to be repeated consistently and regularly before moving to part five. And always allow the dog to give paw don't take it or force them to give a paw. Chin rests and nail clipping part five. Now we have worked the paws, we can now move to the chin rest behavior. As you can see Diesel is offering both a chin rest and a paw at the same time. It is the dog's choice and comfort choice if they choose to sit all down. Again I have gone back a step and have left the nail clippers out so we can just focus on chin rest and paw. This is for his comfort and not to rush the process. Chin rests and nail clipping part 6. 
Coda chooses to lie down instead of sitting. I ask Jamie to use the clippers to represent the groomer. Our groomer allows me to stay with them during grooming so our groomer would be clipping the nails or the vet and I would be asking for the chin rest behavior. Due to walks their nails are always too short to be trimmed at the moment but this does prepare us for the future and again emergency nail removal at the vets. This is why Diesel was so happy to sit off a chin rest and pull. A lot of American groomers are working on the fear free program and this behavior would be something on the program to make nail clipping fear free. Nail clipping and chin rests part 7. Good job, nice work done. Again we go back a step the same with the paw alone behavior. I know this is tedious, but again this is about changing an emotional state, and this is a long process. We have ditched the clippers again, and now I have asked Jamie whilst ever. Zombie is doing rest to stroke and touch his paws to make the process more realistic. This way it takes the focus off the clippers from the dog, and again the behavior isn't predictable. We don't want the dog to make a negative association with the behavior that the scary clippers are cued to come out. This way the dog is more comfortable. Nail clipping and chin rests part 8. Yes. Now we move forward again adding duration to the chin rest. And Jamie is back messing about with the clippers around the paws. This is building the final behavior of a chin rest with duration whilst the nails would be clipped. Some people prefer to teach their dog to chin rest onto an object. Good job, nice. For me personally, I prefer to use my hands. This is because as we move to the back legs, we would not know if they had lifted their chin or are attempting to move away, which again would poison the behavior. Good job, nice. Also, with holding my hand out, I can check their body language, facial expression, and breathing to ensure that they don't go into shutdown or are flooded. Oh, 